Okay, loves, welcome back to Exotic Tea Blog. Come back with another video before we get into this one. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Keep the notification bell so every single time I post, you'll be notified. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Please hit the subscribe button. And I love you. Returning subscribers, y'all should keep doing shit for me. I also love you guys too. Now, um, it looks like JT was out here in his creeps and seemingly responding to Cardi B shade and also Glorilla shade. They did um feel to her on the debut of her album so y'all know there was a big drama when jt album was announced to be at the number 27 spot with selling over 27k first week but y'all should listen to cardi shit i want to say happy motherfucking monday when i tell you i've been laughing for almost two weeks straight it's a week and a half but i've been laughing for two weeks fucking straight Lesson learned. Don't let Twitter motherfucking gas ya. Don't let Twitter gas ya. Anyways, my turn. My turn. My fucking turn. Um, Twitter's always gonna gas ya. One thing about it though, I always learn. Don't let don't let social media make you feel down about yourself or gas you up about yourself. You gotta be in the in the middle. Cause sometimes you might, you know what I'm saying, like. The spoon you bitches be eating, that shit might be too full. That shit might be too full. Cause 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 Twitter's gonna social media is gonna put a lot on that on that on that spoon. You know what I'm saying? Reality checks start hitting. Real fast, real bad. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Y'all got other shit to worry about. Y'all got numbers to worry about. Okay? Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me, ho. Y'all got other shit to worry about. Fucking bums. Bitches is bums. All y'all bitches is fucking bums. This. You can see me in fashion. You can see me in money. You can see me in money. This bitch is bugging. This bitch is buying. Why am I invisible? Bitch is gonna see me in fucking nothing, bitch. And I said that shit. I said, anytime Cardi on space and she ranting like bitch always got something to poop. And and and, I, and and you know, yeah, I not only do I got something to poop, I'ma really poop it when I drop my shit. I'ma really poop it when I drop my shit. Got these bitches on condo level, fucking throwing me motherfucking shots. I gotta prove it, bitch. This this is just social media shit. I gonna see. So that was what Cardi B had to say and JT in a recent interview says that she don't care how the hating hoes feel about her album but she did great and y'all should listen to what JT said. You can't worry about what other people do and I feel like this this club tour thing and this whole era has humbled me in a way that I don't give a fuck nobody doing i'm so confident i don't compare myself to nobody like i don't care what nobody's doing i don't care how successful their record is or what they got going on or anything because i just feel like i'm in my own lane i put mm -hmm. myself in my own lane right. this is my this is my lane what you do is what you do what i do is what i do and right. I, I know i'm great at what i do so I needed that. I needed that to go back on that road to get that confidence back. Put, watch the people sing my music all over again mm -hmm. and get my power back. I got my power back. I don't give a fuck what a bitch got going on. Like, I feel like. Oh, that was what Jatavia had to say. And honestly speaking, my whole thing with Cardi B coming out here to throw shade at JT and also Glorilla coming out here to laugh at JT, little tour she was doing, calling it a cookout. I mean, y'all girl is just dumb. This girl literally is striving. She's doing everything she can do to. to survive in this whole rap ish but glow is out here getting a big budget and cardi b out here staying on twitter every single day trying to sub somebody or shoot somebody i think these two girls is jobless and jt i don't think you should respond to them no more let them be you literally just two shit at cardi b and she's out here spiraling she said she was going to this shoot back and also decides by his back on her album like girl drop the album and stop being a twitter talk at this point she harassing jt you glorilla can barbie a single buddy coming out to jail to drag jt for her sales because I mean, JT did pretty good with her sales for um, JT. That was her mixtape and not an album. I wonder how the delusional gang think um, because y'all are so slow. Y'all coming out here to compare Cardi B and JT 
when JT literally just became a solo female rapper. I mean, y'all so dumb. But anyways, JT came out just selling and I feel like um, JT no need to respond to Cardi B. She's just said she's coming out, said she's flopping her newest single during charts. And I mean, the girl is pressed. So that's what it's giving no shade but anyways let me know if you feel about it down below moving over from there megan the stallion is getting dragged online after her performance at kamala harris rally um host for harris being out here trending so let me know if you feel about this down below honestly speaking this was a very very bad look for kamala no shade this was a very very bad look fans coming out to say oh kamala would have secured millions of votes if she got beyonce to perform freedom but instead she got megan the stallion twerking and also talking about getting eaten out i mean i said that already megan the stallion always them pump pump shots so I, I don't know why y'all was expecting her to do something else another fan said twerking for votes our country has its rock bottom no guns speeches no sweeping versions no comments of issues no twerking that's it so let me know if you feel about this down below everybody coming out here to drag me in the stallion and also kamala i mean kamala does not deserve this dragging and also um the spotlight she's getting now on twitter i mean it's giving very very bad but at the same time megan stallion only knows how to twerk so i mean when they brought megan to do this stuff what do y'all expect i told y'all my first video y'all didn't expect megan the stallion to sit there and start reading and also um rapping calm songs all songs are for pump pump shots so at first it didn't even make sense to get megan stallion to do that shit but i think megan was all they could get and i think um megan doing that um, performance was to um kind of lower the noise about the whole hard line about tory situation that came out the same day it was announced i think that was why they had megan doing that performance shout out to rock nation y'all really doing a big one for her but at the same time megan the stallion is getting dragged she's literally getting dragged on twitter oh uh, you guys should let me know how you feel about this down below do y'all think megan did the right thing with twerking around and do y'all think megan had a good performance because some people was coming now to say oh megan stallion eat that performance up but let me know how you feel about it down below that's just my opinion moving over from there fans are coming out to say if i spice publicly apologized nick minaj for calling her ungrateful do you think nikki would accept it so y'all should let me know how you feel about this down below um nikki number one is the generous queen of rap nikki it's um one of the best person y'all can meet as a female rapper, no shade. No matter how they come out and say, oh, Cardi B's too sweet, Megan Thee Stallion is this all those girls is fake. No shade, they be dissing each other. Nicki Minaj is the only person y'all can come out. And Nicki truly has a nice heart. Nicki forgive JT and Young Miami. Even when they was coming out, just to throw shit at her like millions of times. Even when she never even had a communication or um serious talk with them. So for Nicki Minaj to forgive um jc and be cool with jc i think nikki can also forgive ice spice and ice spice would have played right ice spice was out there trolling Nicki minaj or paying homage to Nicki minaj the script said it was trolling and her hairstylist recently came out to say um it was trolling so i mean she was out there trolling Nicki minaj and also when the whole baby stormy situation happened i told y'all that she needs to come out and clear the air one thing about rumors, if you clear the air quickly, and even if you're wrong, if you're right, it's going to be handled softly. Then after you leave it for months, then you come back to try to act like you smile or something like that. I think it's going to be much better if you had cleared the air when it was still um fresh. But I Spice stayed on mute. She only addressed the situation when she went on Rolling Stone that came out the day before her album dropped so i mean that was corny and i'm going to keep saying it i spy should have played right but i guess the people on her team wasn't really playing chess they was out here playing checkers but nikki i can see nikki minaj for giving i spies nikki minaj is good nikki minaj love the girls and honestly speaking nikki is a girl's girls because nikki has worked with almost all those female rap girls except chop ho and some of them i don't really know but i mean the popular girls nikki minaj been doing collaboration with all of them like literally almost all of them nikki had her sideways verse but i don't think deep deep put that shit out but i mean nikki can possibly forgive i spice i can see nikki minaj and i spice in the future being cool i can see the both of them being cool 
because i i consider one of them being cool honestly speaking and also do y'all think nikki would still want to work with ice spice in the future let me know let me know down below but i think nikki if you're going to get cool with those girls be cool with them and not give them no collaboration again because once you give them the collaboration again they're gonna do the same thing like literally they are going to do the same thing megan the stallion the same thing um doja cat switched on you she's just pretending and um what do they call her Ugh. lacto didn't even get a collaboration and she got punked but anyways let me know how you feel about it down below the other thing is going to forgive her let me know now after flop and the drama about cheating is always there a single week so allegedly after flopper his ex was putted um she was out here in the casino place with after flop playing but people said this was not after flop right after after flop came out she had to put out a video saying shoddy no shoddy whatever whatever was that um the girl they claimed he was we came out and put out this post saying that um it's completely crazy she wasn't with him that she's pregnant and y'all just doing stuff for clickbait to see yeah please respect all families involved y'all make up things not caring about the impacts please stop so she came out here debunking the news um about her and after flop being spotted outside so let me know how you feel about this down below first thing i'm going to say i mean after flop always cheating on cardi b so any single rumors about him spotted with a lady or something like that is going to be out because he always cheated on her and second of all i think i'm going to be believing the story just this one time i'm thinking i'm going to be believing the story just this one time but um she definitely knew that she had to come out and put out this post because she knows how cardi b swing she don't want cardi b sending ninjas over to a house with butters y'all know that she for sure she do not want cardi b coming to attack her in her pregnant states even if bushed and pregnant is pregnant right now she's going to send goons to attack any lady spotted with after flop when she really has to attack the ninja but anyways anyways the cheating's conduct never ends not last eve after flop is going to stop cheating today he's still going to cheat tomorrow next tomorrow i mean he do not like cardi b not like he doesn't like cardi b he's still he's over her like he's literally over her that is why he can cheat on her like seven eight times in a month no shade but moving over from there i spice and central cdd first is challenging for a new peak inside the top 10 sorry shit inside the top 50 of the billboard hop 100 charts the song has now risen in united states streaming every week since its release so let me know how you feel about this down below and the last time i checked the streaming for the song it had like 42 million streams i think that's pretty great for i spice she out here doing them streaming and also yeah, this song is a bop. Technically a bop. If it goes to the top 10, I'm going to say it's a bop. But like, number 50, top 50 is a bop. Kind of a bop for I Spice because she's been flopping. But anyways, we all know how this song is doing. This is she got that cheating scandal out. She got a collaboration because the last time I checked, she couldn't chart with her two solo songs. But anyways, this is a good look for I Spice. I'm not just going to lie. Let me know how you feel about it down below. And also, I talked about a lot of Sh um, Sugar Honey IC album cover already, right? On my previous video, check that one out. But I mean, this girl is getting fooled by her fans once again. And also, the general public, y'all be lying to her. So what? One of Chop Hoffin responded to her post saying, and the best album cover of the year goes to Big Mama. So y'all should let me know. Let me know down below. Um, These people are so fake. They all are so fake to her. The album cover is cute, but this album cover is a chop nobody should be putting out no album cover like this like i said on my previous video it's really giving she doesn't have no budget like literally rca didn't give her no budget for this album that is why she didn't have no good promotion she hasn't gone on good publications to tease the album and the album is supposed to drop like what next month oh my god lado i'm so sorry but this album cover is a chop and definitely not the best of the year by a female rapper or female artist no shade moving over from there so sexy red came out to debunk this rumor that said she was going to be performing at donald trump rally 
um on saturday august 3rd so she came out saying they faking that's cap so let me know let me know down below once in about sex rush is always quick to clock them fake news well let me know if you feel about these topics down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll talk to you on the next video and i'll see you thanks for watching